okay so as you know guys in continuation to the dgft notification number 58 dated on 12th of february 2021 the last date of updating your iec has been extended till uh, july 31st 2021 so it's a good news guys i guess many of them have not yet updated their iecs that's why the government has decided to extend the timing or i don't know what's the reason they have extended for but it's okay we have got a lot of time now so there's one month i'll show you in this quick short video how to update your iec so this is the site which you'll have to come on to that is dgft.goe.in and here you need to log in so if you have not registered yet you'll have to register yourself by filling all these details it's quite easy just your address pin code email id and all those things so as i have registered i'll just log in myself to take you to the main page so once you log in guys this is the dashboard which you can see and it says Tejas dashboard so whichever name you give there it will be shown here so it will be your uh, dashboard and you will have your IEC code here and you can see the IEC status here it says valid and uh, this you get it here only when you link your Aadhaar card to the IEC uh, registry. So once you do that, you will get these notification tabs here. And using these one of these, that is update modify IEC, you will have to update your IEC. So let's see how it goes. So once you click on the update tab, modify tab, so this page opens up and as you can see there is no data available right now so there is no application so you haven't applied yet so there is no data available so now you have to come here and start a fresh application okay so once you click on the fresh application this is the general information details of proprietor partner bank information other details preferred declaration application summary so these are the basic details which it asks you okay so you need to fill up all these details and the main important thing which I want to uh, add here is you will have to attach your documents so in order to uh, in order to fill this first form that is general information that is basic details nature of company and then the company name and all these pan and pan database and the date of birth of the pan the category of exporters to fill in all these things you need to attach the document uh, which is valid that is certificate of incorporation which i have added here so once you update this with this document that is certificate of incorporation you need to come to the second uh, detail section that is uh, the firm address details and here you will have to uh, attach your electricity bill where you stay and uh, the registered address of the firm and after that if you have any branches then you'll have to add the branches so you need to save and next so you get a success message here which says draft application number this has been successfully saved and then it jumps on to the next section that is details of the proprietor partner director whatever so as our company is uh, um, so as our company is private limited so we have two directors here that's me and my dad so here we we need to now add the din director identification number so once you add it here all these details you need to fill on like my pan card uh, details all the numbers and the date of birth select the title name and everything so all these details come up here so once you fill this so i'll just try to update this uh, update few small little things here because i have already updated my iec so i don't know how it's going to respond to me but still i'll try to update few small little things like i'll add the director number of my father the second director let's see what it takes okay update so here it shows the din number that has been updated now if you save and say next okay so we get the success message that is draft application number so and so has been successfully saved and then it jumps on to the next information section that is bank information so here you will have to fill in all the bank details 
and here you need to add a cancel check of your bank and uh, these are the basic details you need to fill and select which bank you have got from this list of banks that has been provided here so here if I can see I have already this first uh, account which you can see here is during the time of the registration of IEC and the second one is which I have updated recently that is on the 30th of June that is yesterday so again I'll try to make some small little changes because because I have already done these changes I don't know how it's going to react but let's see so if I say update now it's asking me to attach the application which I've already done but still okay if I give save and next okay so it now takes me to the other details preferred sectors of operations so whatever you're doing like you are into imports or exports you need to select your product uh, specifications which you have added uh, in your uh, company registration details that so and so product you're going to export or import so in goods you need to select your products from all these lists okay so if it is others then you will have to select others and then put save and next and here is the declaration it jumps on to the last section so these are the declaration statements that you need to agree with and tick this box and this is the date which shows it here and if you give save and next so it, now it takes to the application summary section and uh, here is the complete application summary that have that you have just filled and uh, if you can go through it once again and check all the details for its correctness and uh, if you know that are right and correct then you just need to come down and sign here so for signing you will have to digitally sign this uh, certificate in order to sign this digitally you need to uh, say proceed and and you need to connect your DSC token that is digital signature certificate token and once you connect that to your laptop you will find the uh, token here and the certificate list the name on whose DSC is that will be here and you will have to enter the password and then put submit so after doing that this document is completely signed and the application will be submitted so this is how you need to update it guys and uh, once you do it uh, you will get this application preview that so and so company name has been updated their IEC that uh, IEC has been updated and the request submitted date is so and so and after that uh, you will get a message on your number that IEC number so and so application has been successfully modified That's it guys. So I hope you have got an idea of how to update your IEC. So once you are completely uh, Done with this. I think here's a notification which we can see so it says your IEC Number so and so application has been successfully modified. So if you can view more It will give you the application name. So modification of IEC DGFT today's date and uh, your IEC number has been successful that's the same message which you get here so that's it this is the notification you will get and uh, you have successfully updated your IEC I hope it's clear guys and uh, so if you can just log in and try to play around with this and uh, fill the form with all the details and attach all the documents in PDF files you will manage to update your IEC by yourself without any hassle Thank you very much guys, all the best, bye bye.